please stand for the graduates.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Hello everyone, Hello everyone, and welcome, and welcome to, the to the commencement of the Central, Central Columbia, Columbia class of 2022. 2022. Before, Before I begin, I, begin, I would like, I would to, like give to give a huge congratulations, congratulations to everyone, everyone here. here. It has been, been a long, 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 long 13, 13 years, years, but we are, but we are finally, finally here. here. I would also, I would also like, like to thank, thank the administration, administration faculty, faculty, and staff, and staff for, planning for planning and executing this ceremony for us. Your work is greatly appreciated. I would also, I would like, also to like to take a, thank, take a, take a moment, moment and thank, thank all of the amazing, amazing people who have supported me throughout the years. years. My parents, My parents siblings, 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 family, family teachers, 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 friends, friends classmates, classmates, and most, and most importantly, importantly, Quizlet. Quizlet. Without, Without you all, you all I, quite I quite literally would not, would not be up, up on this stage, stage today. today. Thank you. Thank you. As you might have noticed in your programs, today we have one less speaker than usual. I know a lot of you might be really concerned do not, do not worry. worry. I've, extended I've extended my speech, my speech and will fill the entire time. time. I, should I should be finished, finished in somewhere, somewhere under, under an hour, hour if, if I talk I fast. fast. <laughs> Fortunately, Fortunately for, everyone for everyone here, here we all know, we all know that, that I procrastinated, procrastinated writing this, writing this until, until the night before, before. and no until amount of caffeine, caffeine could help me write a speech that long at 2.45 in the morning. I also don't want to bore you to death, so I plan to keep this rather brief. In the, in the early stage, early of, stage development, of development, I had, I had no, no clue, clue what, what to say today. today. <laughs> but out of nowhere, I had a sudden and very vivid memory in my kindergarten classroom. It's one of the it's few things that I can remember from that long ago, and it's oddly specific. I was, take, I was partaking in an extremely competitive game of a, of a round, 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 round. The teacher, the teacher would flash, would flash a, card, a card, and the first, and the first person, person to answer, answer would move on to the next seat, seat with the goal, the goal to make it all the way around the classroom. Around the classroom. I, definitely I definitely lost some friends, friends in the process, process but, I was, but the I was the best, best and no one, one can tell me otherwise. otherwise. This competitiveness, this competitiveness reminded, reminded me of, of fifth grade, grade Mr. Arnell's classroom, classroom playing Kahoot, and, and Tristan, and I definitely won. And even recently, hace unas semanas en la clase de español, you're welcome, You're welcome, senor, senor wherever, wherever you are. You are. <laughs> I, was I was fearing, fearing for my life, life playing, playing Quizlet, Quizlet Live. Live. This got this me got thinking, thinking about, about how, how different, different things, things were in kindergarten. Back, Back when we were, we were all gross, gross little five-year-olds five five with, with booger hands, hands. <laughs> we were using, we were using paper, paper flashcards. Flash and now, now we're all we're gross, gross, big 18-year-olds, hopefully without booger hands. And we have, and we have iPads, iPads and fast, fast internet, internet that allows, that allows us, to us to play virtual, virtual games, games from anywhere. From anywhere. The, world the world has evolved, has evolved so, much so much from when we were born. We were born. Back then, then Facebook, Facebook wasn't a thing. thing. iPhones were the size, the size of bricks, of bricks. And, my and my dad was watching, was watching MTV. MTV. <laughs> so, so much is different is nowadays. nowadays. And what's, and what's crazy, crazy to think about is how our class managed to adapt to these immense changes over the years. And what's even crazier to think about is why my dad is still watching MTV at 2 in the morning. Our class has experienced the most change of any generation. And we've had to learn to adjust. In elementary school, we first learned our ABCs on the chalkboards. These chalkboards soon became personal whiteboards. We were taught math and handwriting on overhead projectors that turned to smart boards and then turned into the invisible boards that I swear only Mr. Gill knows how to use. We started off with pencil and paper and finished elementary school with iPads. There are, these were no small changes, especially for little kids. But we took advantage of them and used it to our benefit. We didn't let our learning get hindered by novel things. We found new ways to make learning fun through SumDog, YouTube, and the completely educational Cool Math Games. Entering, Entering middle school, middle school we, now we now had to work, work in a more, more free, free environment. environment. We adjusted, we adjusted to, the to the setup of the middle school, middle school with, with twice as many kids as usual. And, and all of them had splotchy beards and colored, and colored hair. hair. <laughs> as, 
After the high schoolers left, we managed to adjust to the ever-changing use of technology. By the time we left that building, we had gone through Schoology, Google Classroom, eBackpack, and the superior update to eBackpack, eBackpack LM. We had our first glimpse into independent learning through the iPad room and flipped classrooms, which prepared us for high school and beyond. We were the literal test dummies for this new stage of learning, and we managed to excel with it. Then we entered the land of body odor, or the high school, and we definitely had trouble adjusting. I remember getting called down to the gym, where then Principal Groshek yelled at the entire freshman class because half of us were failing. But after this fiery speech, we learned to adapt to the new structure, and we mostly solved the problem. Then the unexpected happened. Without going into detail, like the rest of the world, our class was faced with a countless number of changes in a very short amount of time. Along with the help of our amazing teaching staff, we were able to learn and adapt to this new world we are living in. Although our class may not have won the homecoming float all four years, we definitely have one of the strongest classes academically, athletically, and socially to ever pass through these halls. The way the world functions has completely shifted within our lifetimes. Our generations was able to take advantage of these transformations. By embracing the changes, we were able to thrive and become one of the strongest graduated classes to ever pass through these halls. As we go our separate ways, I want you to remember that change is inevitable. We just have to take advantage of it. Thank you to the administration for this opportunity to speak, and thank you for listening and supporting us today. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. A little shorter, so I'm going to bring this down. So, hopefully, the, uh, the sound system doesn't mess me up too much. But to begin with, I have to give some very important thank yous to the people who have just given me such unbelievable amounts of support the last four years. As is only fitting, Mom, Dad, I owe it all to you. You always gave me the room I needed to grow and the mostly positive encouragement to reach my goals. I also want to thank my brother, the one and only Evan Hawkins, for being the best brother and friend a guy could ask for. Also the strangest one, but hey, at least we aren't being confused for twins anymore, right? To my friends, thank you for bearing with me in some of the craziest months of our lives. We survived the absolute insanity of last-minute college applications at Christmas, so I'm sure we can handle what's to come. Also, by special request, Elvin Jang. I also, I also want to thank, thank my two other brothers, brothers and my lovely girlfriend, girlfriend for all being incredible all partners, partners both on and off and the stage. stage. And of course, and of course I'd, be I'd be remiss without thanking the many incredible teachers that I've had during my time in high school. No matter how crazy the world seemed, they truly did their best to bring me an invaluable education and they've left an impact and an inspiration I will never forget. I also want to thank the school board, Superintendent Groshek, Principal Comstock, and all the other administrators for their hard work in keeping Central an example of academic excellence. So, as my friends and family know too well, I happen to be just a little indecisive. In fact, I was so stumped on where to go to college, I actually ended up flipping a coin two hours before the deadline to choose. But, you know, hopefully it all works out. <laughs> so when I was asked to write this speech, I was stumped. The months turned into weeks, and well, still no ideas came. I've learned so much from my time here at Central, it seemed difficult to choose just one topic to focus on. And then it hit me, what do I have to choose? So, some of you know that I like to keep myself busy with extracurriculars, but I realize that everything I've done has contained inv inv incredibly valuable lessons. The trick is just finding the right way to put them together. I know my experience might not be applicable to everyone, but the lessons taught by the activities that myself and many of my classmates have taken part in will in some way carry into our futures. So I'll start with sports, which I know a lot of us here have participated in in some way in our time here. 
Now, I've never been too good at any sport, but I've nonetheless clung to them throughout high school, praying that someday I'd finally get that surge of mystery talent I'd always been waiting for. Well, I can tell you for a fact it never happened, but I don't regret a single moment from either soccer or tennis. See, the practice might be long, and the game's longer still, especially when you're on the bench, but I learned something on this field and those courts. No matter how exhausted I would get, how sore my muscles would become, I, would, I kept on showing every day, and many other of my peers would train even harder, play even longer, and still give their 100% every day. But why did we do it? Because we knew that the harder we pushed our bodies, the stronger we would become. The more sweat we poured out, the farther we could run the next day. And in the future, when an obstacle comes in front of us, we'll have learned how to triumph. Another incredibly important part of my life has been Boy Scouts, which I've been a part of ever since joining Cub Scouts in first grade. It's easy to dismiss Boy Scouts as an organization that lets young boys run around in dark woods with knives and flames, but anyone who has stuck with the BSA and given it their all will know its value. Many people know about the Eagle rank and how it supposedly helps with getting jobs and strengthening resumes, but there's a reason people know about it. The greatest strength of scouting is most likely its ability to help forge leaders out of immature children. Through scouting, people first learn from the youth who are around our ages now, who are leaders and leave you with an ingrained set of guiding principles. Then, as scouts become older, they learn to put aside their own personal desires in order to effectively get things done. And eventually, as my fellow scouts in this class will know, we get to stand back and watch the people we once led, now using the same maturity and pragmatism we, used, we taught them to lead the next generation of scouts. And right there is the crux of what I learned. Scouting has shown me that to be an effective leader, someone that people will follow for the right reasons, you need to be confident yet gracious, insightful and mature, but understanding when those you lead are not. For the future, we all should learn to be leaders in our fields. It doesn't matter where we go, college, workforce, the military. We want to be people that others will look up to. And to the four other very accomplished Eagle Scouts and soon to be five in our grade, congratulations. Now, before I talk about the last activity that had a really profound impact on me, I have to acknowledge that just because I didn't mention something else doesn't mean it didn't have value to me or that it wouldn't to anyone else here. From FBLA to band and chorus to robotics, I want to sincerely thank the various advisors who have given so much of their time to support and guide students like myself. But still, perhaps the largest force the last four years has been the drama program. Now, some of you who have had the misfortune of reading Shakespeare may know the quote, all the world's a stage, from his comedy, As You Like It. Ignoring the depressing perspective the quote offers of our lives, where we have no control of our fate and we're doomed, I'd like to make a different meaning there. As an actor, I began as a totally inexperienced underclassman, in awe of just how talented everyone seemed to be around me. I had a small part to play in the ensemble, where it was my job to be part of the background, dancing, singing, and doing my best to make the audience feel like a part of the action, never mind that the focus wasn't on me. Then as time went on, I entered a different world in the musical, one that was full of seemingly endless lines and the fear of being terrifyingly alone on stage. Especially this year, though, I learned more and more that even when someone appears alone on stage, or like the pressure's only on them, that's when they're being helped the most. You see, it doesn't just happen by magic. You first have the directors, who spend months preparing us for the performance through vocal, acting, and dance rehearsals. In addition, as any actor will tell you, you need a solid, talented, energized ensemble to be there to support you. Every year, our cast gives the productions their all because they know the value of creating a great show. That energy is exactly what helped me feel comfortable on stage because I knew how much passion each person had for the program, whether they were in cast, crew, sound and light, or any other way involved. More than that, drama really just gave me a place that felt like home. Even on those dreary days during that post-Christmas slump that everyone in the seats below me knows about, I'd only find the motivation to come to school because I knew I got to spend two hours at rehearsal after surviving the day. Just this year alone, drama taught me countless lessons about perseverance, time management, practice, and confidence. But I think the biggest piece of advice I received was that no matter how far one can go, nobody can get there alone. Well, just to quickly run through these lessons, because I know it's getting long, I learned to always push through through even the worst of experiences through sports, to be confident and empathetic to lead others from scouts, 
and to never forget those who help you get where you are from drama. Even though I know not everyone had the same experience as I did, I cannot say just how much I believe in the importance of these lessons, because they're all things I wish I learned much, much earlier. But you know what? As Maya Angelou put it, you are the sum total of everything you've ever seen, heard, eaten, smelled, been told, forgot. It's all there. And because I know we have other people in the crowd who are still in high school, I have one more piece of advice. I was asked not long ago what I would say to a rising freshman. And it took me a little bit of reflection, but I realized that my time here at Central was incredibly different from what I was led to believe. In movies, TV shows, and books, you see the high school as a terrifying place to those who don't fit in, an apocalyptic wasteland for, for the dreamers. Far from being tone deaf, I want to acknowledge that there is still bullying that occurs. We have problems that still exist in high schools, in ours, and others across the nation. But still, here at Central, I've never felt shunned or targeted for the activities I took part in. In any community I've been a part of here, I've actually felt encouraged to sharpen my skills and try harder as time went on. I kept on working and getting better at what I would do, and everyone was supportive. They didn't try to put up roadblocks to stop me or make fun of me for caring. And this goes for those of us moving on to college, the workforce, or any year. We have endless opportunities ahead of us, and the only way to find who we are is chasing those dreams and doing as much as we can. Because for every new experience we have, we take lessons from them for the rest of our lives. So for anyone who's afraid of pursuing that passion, I would say, do it. If you have that spark, nothing can stand in your way. Thank you, and congratulations to the Central Class of 2022. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas and Brady, for those speeches. And good morning, graduates, families, and friends. I'm glad you could all make it to celebrate this milestone with us. I feel this day should not only focus on our ceremonious and symbolic graduation into life, but as a day to recognize and appreciate our accomplishments, such as baseball winning the district title, girls field hockey beating Bloom, girls soccer going undefeated and winning the district, boys swimming winning the districts and girls placing second and girls track winning two state titles. And on the arts side, our musical Something Rotten swept the stage at Ray of Lights. Many students qualified for Teen Star and four band and chorus members made states. This is a short list of our accomplishments from just this year. If I were to say all of our class's accolades, I think I'd exceed my allotted time. This list illustrates just how much hard work this class has put in throughout our journey to this point. As I struggle to decide what's right for this speech, which may or may not have involved a quick Google search, I felt I always came to the same cliche conclusions, discussing achievements, obstacles, friendships. I tried my best to avoid a cheesy speech, but forgive me if I include some cliche points. I dreaded writing this because by nature, I could be classified as a pessimistic person, at least according to my mom, but I would call myself a realist. High school hasn't been a dream by far, but life in itself isn't a smooth road. If I had a dollar for every time I've been racing the clock to 7.45, I think I'd be rich if you just asked Mr. Morgan. Throughout the years, I've had my handful of experiences, good and bad, but all memorable. As I stand before you, I represent only one out of our senior class. We all have our memories, each person unique, and as we grow, we take different paths, collecting experiences along the way. Our memories mark our growth in life as a parent would mark their child's growth on the wall. Although not tangible, these memories are priceless. Personally, I know I look back on these times fondly, knowing they will have shaped me into the person I have yet to become. We have the ability and the responsibility to make this world a better place, to have it grow with us, and to leave it better than we found it. I know the saying is to live the American dream, but I don't want to do just that. I want to live my dream, a dream that will never cease but only grow with me. I hope to follow the path of life not as a wanderer but as a navigator, striving to guide my future as I choose, a future that will benefit all, one that leaves a positive mark on this earth. In the future, as long as we continue to work hard, I believe we can all succeed. We are a strong, thriving class. We have experienced mental hardships in our time in high school, facing the hardest battle imaginable, one against ourselves. During remote learning, we were forced to adapt to the unfamiliar quickly and without warning. 
that made to come back into the world as if nothing happened. Our minds had taken a toll and we fought our way back to as normal as we could get, but we finally reached the end. This symbolic progression into life brings with it wariness of the future. Although exciting, I cannot help but be anxious and even a little fearful as to what the future may hold. The unknown is scary, and the idea that one wrong move may affect the rest of our lives is intimidating. The idea that we have control creates a sense of pressure and responsibility to do everything correctly. Failure carries a negative connotation in our world. The common perception of the word is one of ominous meaning. But in reality, failure is a necessary factor in life. How are we supposed to know what is correct without failure? Failure is how we learn and grow. Mistakes create our building blocks of maturity. They are a starting point. Do not feel ferial. <laughs> feel fear failure, <laughs> but it's safe failure. But embrace it. Sorry. <laughs> that was planned for failure. Milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> I have faith that we will all do great things in the future. We must always put our best effort forward and remember, we will eventually reap the benefits of our work. We've already come this far. The only advice I have for you is not my own, but for Maya Angelou, an outstanding author and poet who had been through countless hardships. She maintained a positive outlook on life and took hold of her own destiny. She is an inspiring woman who aspired to be like. Angelou once said, whatever you want to do, if you want to be great at it, you have to love it and be able to make sacrifices for it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> <laughs>
I've seen this all before When I was just a child I met a witch who took a bow And showed me how it ended We stood here on the shore Sweet and mild, with disbelief and philosophy suspended. When my child's imagination, I remember you. Oh, I didn't know if we were foes or friends. But now you're standing here, I see the vision coming clear. Exactly how the sense it ends with you, it ends with me, it ends the way all stories and endings are supposed to be a bit insane, a touch of pain, a depth leads forth, yet uncontrolled. Epic tale, part fire sail, but all sincere and standing here. I know I wasn't perfect, I know my life was small, I know I pretended that I knew it all. So when you tell my story, and I hope somebody dies, remember me as something. Mr. Groshek, Mr. Crawford, school board members, teachers, honored guests, students, and families. I'd like to start by saying congratulations to the Central Columbia High School graduating class of 2022. From the time you stepped foot in the building, you have been winners. You have overcome many obstacles, have seen your hard work and persistence pay off, and today, you get to celebrate with your fellow classmates the greatest accomplishment of all, graduation. Congratulations, it makes me so proud to be your principal. I would like to thank everyone for being here today. Parents, this day is also for you. It's a culmination of all the love and support you have given and the sacrifices that you have made for these wonderful young men and women that are seated here in front of us today. Thank you for allowing us to educate your children and thank you for the role that you have played in their success. Congratulations to you as well. Graduates, let's give your parents a round of applause. Today is a special occasion it is the reward for many years of hard work, the celebration of goals achieved, and it's the beginning of a new adventure. There's no doubt in my mind that you are prepared to face these new and exciting challenges that await you. Over the last four years, you have learned the importance of critical thinking, the importance of having practical skills, and you have learned the art of being able to adapt to this ever-changing world as we know it. 
Your high school career has been anything but normal. As freshmen, you were able to experience a typical school year. By the middle of your sophomore year, you became very familiar with Zoom and had to learn to play a whole new set of rules, play by a whole new set of rules. As juniors, you were given the opportunity to mix it up a little bit. Some of you continued to attend classes remotely, while others were back in the classrooms, six feet apart and masked up. Finally, as seniors, you were able to end the way you started, back in the classroom with your teachers and your friends. Given the fact that you are all sitting here in front of me today, I would say that you were pretty successful and are ready for just about anything that the world can throw at you. Speaking of success, let's talk about that for a second. The class of 2022 has seen much success in the classroom, on the stage, and in athletic competition. From honors, AP, CTE classes, you have challenged yourself your entire school career. You continue to uphold Central's strong tradition of success by dominating competitions in FFA, FBLA, robotics, chorus, band, in a near clean sweep at the Ray of Lights. Your dedication, hard work, and sacrifice have paid off big time in the form of national recognition and nearly $2 million in college scholarships. Congratulations on these wonderful accomplishments. On the field, on the court, and in the water, you continue to uphold Central Columbia's strong tradition of success in athletics. Day in and day out, you gave your all in both practice and competition. Your work ethic, discipline, and commitment paid off in the form of multiple league, district, and state championships, personal and broken records, 800 strikeouts, and other accolades that were well deserved. The world we lived in has changed a lot since you first arrived at the high school. You have faced and have overcome many challenges along the way, have had much success, and I know that your teachers and myself are happy to have been a part of your journey. Central Columbia is a special place. It's a special community. It has prepared you to leave this area, chase your dreams, and change the world. After today, you will move on to bigger and better things. Make sure you take a moment to thank all of your teachers for everything that they have done for you along the way. You have been blessed to have them as teachers. You may not see it now, but trust me, one day you will. Students, let's give your teachers a round of applause. Now your time as a, as a student at Central Columbia High School is coming to an end, and a new and exciting world awaits you. Open yourself up for all it has to offer. Work hard, stay humble, hang on, and enjoy the ride. Remember, you will forever be a Blue Jay, and you're always welcome back home. So once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you for all the memories, best wishes in the future, and as always, go Blue Jays. Mr. Crawford, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Central Columbia High School er, and School District, I'd like to present to you the Central Columbia High School graduating class of 2022. Thomas Howard Hawkins. Brady, Brady Michael, Michael Madden. Madden. 
Riley, Riley Marie, Marie McMahon. McMahon. Owen, Owen S. Berlin. S. Berlin. Jameson, Jameson Grace, Grace Bertolo. Bertolo. Tyler, Tyler Kenneth, Kenneth Borthwick. Borthwick. Patricia Chitza. Nora, Nora Avery, Avery Fritz. Fritz. Anthony, Anthony Christopher, Christopher Gold. Gold. Oh, that's cool. Congratulations. Rachel, Rachel K. K. Hagenstaller. Sarah, Sarah Creation. Lauren LaRouche. Woo! Samantha, Samantha Ann Lau. Lau. Jake. Jake. Timothy, Timothy Moyer. Moyer. <laughs> Leah, Leah, Kathleen, Kathleen Raphael. Raphael. Addison, Addison C.C. Smarjazi. Charlotte, Charlotte Marie, Marie Allen. 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 Caitlin, Caitlin Emma, Emma Bailey. Bailey. Nathan, Nathan David, David Barnes. Barnes. Brody, Brody Dominic, Dominic Beaver. Beaver. Congratulations. Rain, Rain, Madeline, Madeline Beischlein. Beischlein. Congratulations. Isabel, Isabel Benfield. Benfield. Mason, Mason James, James Bennett, Bennett. Matthew, Matthew Corey, Corey Beerley, Beerley. <laughs> Owen, Owen Daniel, Daniel Bosworth, Bosworth. Cameron, Cameron Marie, Marie Bowers. Bowers. Yeah. Owen, Owen Nicholas, Nicholas Brindisi. Brindisi. Yeah. Alyssa, Alyssa Renee, Renee Brocious. Grayson Elizabeth, Elizabeth Brown. Brown. Rachel, Rachel Catherine, Catherine Bush. Bush. Congratulations. I got this. Don't worry. Congratulations. Lariani Janmeed Carrion. Colton Lee Chipaleski. Congratulations. Carly. Grace, Grace Suzuki. Hey, congratulations, buddy. Luke, Luke Anthony, Anthony Suzuki. Hey, 
Tyler Michael Suzuki. Preston William Cleaver. Haley Nicole Conrad. Mia Nicole Constantino. Jane Susanna Corbin. Caitlin Erica Costanza. Tristan, Tristan Lucas, Lucas Crawford. Crawford. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> Paul Davidovich. <laughs> Cade <laughs> Max <laughs> Davis. Cameron Matthew Day. Emily DiLorenzo. Sean Edward Dale. Manvinder Singh Dillon. Jillian Elizabeth Ierly. Alyssa Page Fenstermaker. Caleb, Caleb William, William Fenstermaker. Anastasia Marie Furdock. Ava Jean Faster. Jan Fisher. Jillian Fit. Paige Madison Flaw. Gabrielle Marie Foster. Joshua Frederick. Ryder Jansen, Jansen Gillespie. Gillespie. Dylan Robert Groshek. Luke Brian Halzak. Taryn Irene Hargraves. Taylor Nicole Hayes. William Bryce Hazard. Isaiah Samuel Hess. Eleanor Grace Hostler. Grace Hostler. 
Audrey, Audrey Kathleen, Kathleen Hoven. Olivia May Hubler. Rita, Rita Humayan. Sydney Nicole Huntsinger. Casey Ryan Isherwood. Morgan, Morgan Riley, Riley James, James. Elvin, Elvin Jang, Jang. Yeah. Logan, Logan Jesse, Jesse Karsher Catherine Michelle, Michelle Kennedy, Kennedy. Liam, Liam Kenny, Kenny Gajilski. Braden, Adrian, Kyle. Emily, Renee, Kyle. Jeffrey, Michael, Cluck. Haley, Haley Kreischer. Kara Elizabeth Kufro. David Frank Lee. Alexiella Vivian Lehman. Brandon, Brandon Scott, Scott Long. Long. Matthew, Matthew James, James Long. Long. Shelby Taylor Long. Tyler Damian Long. Juan, Juan Carlos, Carlos Lopez. Lopez. Kevin, Kevin Patrick, Patrick Marks. Marks. Gianna, Gianna Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mero. Aiden, Aiden Joseph, Joseph Mosteller. Mosteller. Michaeli Catherine McCormick. Dylan Matthew McDevitt. Jensen, Jensen, Kathleen, Kathleen McGady. McGady. Haley, Haley, Elizabeth, Elizabeth McMichael. McMichael. Brett, Brett, Frederick, Frederick Mercer. Mercer. Carter, Carter William, William Michaels. Michaels. Gabrielle, Gabrielle Sue, Sue Miller. Miller. Megan, Megan Elizabeth, Elizabeth Minig. Minig. Anna 
Elizabeth Nevis. Elise McTenna Nay. Madeline Catherine O'Neill. Jackson Robert Orwine. Luke Joseph Parks. Irvi Nitin Patel. Jake Alexander Pierce. Ruby Ann Pedeski. Raya Jean Pyle. Austin Russell Rainier. Toby Brian Reed. Jacqueline Ann Reefer. Xander Cage Rosado. Alexandra Nicole Rosser. Aaron Christian Ryan De Jesus. Alexis Caitlin Safarik. Kayla Elise Sassaman. Yasmin Schlota. Katie Michelle Schneider. Sydney Ann Seal. April Schaefer. Benjamin James Hess Schaefer. Wyatt Michael Schaefer. Grace Ella Snyder. Nina Jolene Spiegel. Andrew John Spannenberg. Dominic Anthony Starr. Mackenzie Noel Starr. Emily Elizabeth Staklosa. Rael Strau. Bailey May Schweitzer. Reese 
Morgan Temple. Eshaw Usman. Margaret Elizabeth Vandermark. Emerson Vyers. Abigail Grace Waltman. Emma Elise Wample. Gordon Thomas Waranda. Madison Rose Weitzel. Patrick James Yost. Madison Grace Young. Luke Jeffrey Zeisloft. Kevin Zhang. Mr. Crawford and Mr. Groshek, on behalf of the class of 2022, I accept these diplomas. Thank you. 